This week on the Labor 2010 Issue Spotlight, brought to you by the Kentucky State AFL-CIO, Retirement and Social Security, an issue that affects over 40,000 Kentuckians. To discuss this important topic, we sat down with Joseph Ewing and Jim Lucan, retired steelworkers from Local 1693. My name is Joseph Ewing. I'm a retired steelworker. My name is Jim Lucan. I'm a retired steelworker and a member of SOAR, which is a retirement group of steelworkers, active retirees, uh, chapter 3015. The fight over Social Security is nothing new. The last three years Bush was in office, he tried every trick in the book to get rid of Social Security. If it hadn't been for the Democrats, we'd have lost Social Security. It would have been privatized by the last two years of his last term, and it would have fell just like the stock market. The threat to Social Security is as great as ever. Republicans aren't going to be happy till they see the Social Security go down the tubes. And along with Medicare, they'll do anything in the world to cause Medicare and lie, whatever they have to say, they'll say to get rid of Medicare. They want that off the books. The beginning of Social Security opening the doors to protect the people should never be taken away from the people. We all know the stakes are high. If they were to do away with Medicare, each and every one of us would go into bankruptcy if we had to go to the hospital. It's that simple. If we had to go to the hospital and we didn't have Medicare, we would go into bankruptcy. Yeah. Within, a, within a year. Take everything we have. Mm -hmm. The young people that's coming up that will get to the point of retirement, they should have the same rights that we have right now. We paid in to it. We're getting it back. And if they're paying into it all their life, they should give back. In November, we can protect Social Security with our vote. Well, I feel like if we elect Rand Paul, we'll have the greatest threat to the working American people and, 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 uh, and that we've had in a long time. And I think we ought to look at Jack Conway and uh, uh, John uh, Yarmouth and Ben Chandler as the ones to support labor. Yarmouth, Ben Chandler, and Conway... It's real simple. They should be voted in the office. Rand Paul is not for the working family. He is a supporter of the big Republican controlled businesses. And he will not support the working man in this country. If you're a working person of any kind, union or non-union, you won't have Rand Paul's support. Period. Rand Paul. Wrong on what's right. On November 2nd, vote Jack Conway for U.S. Senate.